EPC, Tor 2, even Tor 3. He has been uh, pretty amazing, and uh, he just got cursed. Yeah. I'm not talking about the Winter's Curse, but uh, he's gonna drop here. The Caster's Curse from ah, the Caster's Thank you very much. They Whoa. plant the ward and they get a kill. First man comes to the ward there in the trees. Oh, it is under a sentry. Toby having a complete free. But in the CS trade with Ori. Yeah, but Ori's farming a small camp that he stacked. Malefice from Toby turned on by XXS. Starbreak it comes and the kill is there for the door. Enigma. Dropping so quickly to that Celestial Hammer and Starbreaker combo. Tiny's damage output uh, is very limited. Saberlight does cut down the tree. Looking at the mid wave, Stormstormer farming a uh, big small camp that he stacked. Six. Uh, maybe a bit faster than Pudge. We'll see. We'll see. Pudge. All right, five Pudge is closer, but uh, Monet bottom. Yeah, now Strike gonna jump on in. TP, Saberlight trying to heal up the Spirit Siphon. Does get the kill on the Broken First. Gonna be spotted. The battle is at the hook. Set up there for Ori to launch Toby back into him with a black hole. The turnaround plays. Katomi arrives. Someone guarding the door breaker does arrive. Clears through Toby with a three man coil. In Saberlight comes and destroys Ori with a double kill. Stormstormer looks for the triple. Saberlight picks the final one up. And Entity with a great swing. They bring everyone. I expected Saberlight to, to tip Toby there because it was a really good uh, black hole. He understood that he's going to be able to survive and uh, he got some extra gold from it even though he died. So, got to be closer. They're even moving up to Monet Bob. He does have BKB but doesn't get it up in time. Solar Guarded from the Dawnbreaker lands in a Monet. There we go. Fantastic BKB. Turns on the Saberlight. Oh, right. 20% HP. Oh, good oh, turns. Maybe we'll save him as XXS clears through the Enigma. And Monet, he's getting away. Does all the top himself back to victory and the Wukong's command in on Aegis the Saberlight. Aegis just expired. Aegis is gone and the DP <laughs> dropping so very quickly. Spirit Siphon's topping her up but dragged back into Monet's grasp. A perfect timing. Good toggles from uh, CK. He also had the Mage Slayer, a little bit of an extra magic resistance there. It's what kept him alive and all. Let's force the CK's BKB and he's, he's turned tail to run away. Saberlight. He wants to chase this with Katoni. Come. Tries the combo to CK, but the Solar Guardian and the Phantasm. Aster not too worried about what's happened here. Sableye's gonna try and spirit side from the back. Toby does have a black hole. Chucks it straight yeah, on to the It's just the punch, and it's cancelled by the Boundless Strike. Back in comes XXS, focus the Enigma. Yeah, oh, Ori drags the tiny back in again. CK still going, tanking through the onslaught. Monet's gonna be healed up by the Wyvern. And this member finding Sableye, the Wukong's command from Boboka. Monet's still alive. Is he even gonna die? He will. But so much was wasted by Entity. Storm Stormer does grab a couple of he kills. He got the silence of Puck. But well, they've got the Orchid Silence. XXS and Boboka here. Ori arrives on a Storm Stormer. Tries to jaunt away with a face shift and a jump. Saves himself. But Katsuomi outside the Roche pit in an awful lot of trouble. <laughs> the tree breaks under the legs of the Monkey King. But XXS has the Star Breaker. Tossed back from the Tiny. Not going to save him. He tossed him away. You toss theirs at the reading when Roshan's gonna respawn because we, they don't have this uh, tiny clock. That's a, it's a free clock, yeah, free timer. Very good. Coil onto Dawnbreaker, stops her in her tracks, and a jump in from Boboka in the middle of three heroes, getting blown up inside the midnight pulse. The who is the hook on the DP for re-catching out the DP with the black hole. Toby, he's on to four of them. He's gonna catch them all. XXX to return with the help of the Wukong's command, but DP with a fear and a spirit of silence, but chasing for him back. They get the call, that breaks onto the front, but DP still tanks through the damage. Mode. Oh, they can't save her. A CK too tanky and clears through the DP. Toss across, Monet's in onto the chin now, but Stormstormer finally kills in the back lines. Jumping back in on the Wyvern. Katomi gets pummeled down by another Starbreaker while Stormstormer, he's, he's, he's desperate for this Wyvern kill. He wants it so bad. Come here. Let me have you. It's so annoying to play against Buck at this stage of the game. Doesn't have E on this credit. He's gonna try to cut another wave, potentially cut both mid and kill the bottom wave. It was a good, uh, good black hole landing on uh, three because he does have a shard, so it sucked in CK. But uh, CK's damn.
Success, not quite latching onto any targets. Or he's oh, there, jumping. Finds the DP with a dismember. Wukong's is getting a scrap. Refresh around, dismember the table out once more. Fishman, now the black hole. Toby's in on tour. He's punched, but the curse cancels it out. Holds entity back. And that's the good thing about the reset. Move on to Toby once more. Sable out in the open. It's not looking down. Enigma gone. All the DP still alive. Somehow surviving. This cat only tosses Punch around. The Dyer gets the kill. DP and Enigma finally dead, but they will have buybacks. Fish by CK Illusion. Chased out by that Phantasm Illusion. CK will swing onto Stormstorm, but the Punch is still causing them problems and acts success. A dive too far. All the full HP with so Satanic. With the heels coming out of him. And Monkey King What's on this high ground. Burst out by Fishman and Storm Stormer. He's still hunting. He wants more. Storm Stormer. He wants that success. Gonna get the Dawn Break. Yeah, he's looking for it. We'll find him all the miss uphill. X success saved up by the Glimmer Cake, but now Monet's the one in trouble. The buyback's out of Entity. Defend their base and Help hold me, the please. They can't save him. He's dead once and maybe twice. They're controlling the back lines. They're going for supports, and uh, they want to kill him as well. Monet does not have BKB for 20. He looks very dead, but uh, healthy. So he might be able to blow someone up. Oh yeah, he's popped in on this guy on the puck. Fishman gonna get jumped here, maybe, but ah, Stormstorm is there. They've got the Malphite and the Sarsis. And CK can't catch any spells. He's got BKB in five. He's trying. He's but he's giving it the best. Midnight Pulse, and he's dying. He's healing up on the creeps, but he can't stand his ground. With, with Wyvern, because you, your attacks are magical, and then it goes through. Silence. Silence. Storm Stormer, he's out there, though, as they do like John Satomi and Nygma. Black Hole comes. He's going to get it in onto the CK at the very least. Punch Dragon towards it as well. Toby down, and so is the Chen. Sableye, he's being hauled into the ground. Focus down. As the focus, the targets they need to, and this time around, the Puck, yes, will backstab into the Wyvern. But Katomi and Storm Stormer, they're blown up. As a five-man wipe emerges faster. Stormstormer using buyback immediately. He knows that uh, he needs to buy some creeps. Yeah, no EXO for 30 seconds. No black hole for 30. Yeah, at, this, at this point, you need Enigma to have Aghanim Sam to refresh your orb. Stormstormer, he does jump in and get a good coil. But Kataomi trapped inside the Wukong's command. Hooked out and Mone finishes the job. Barracks broken and Mega Creeps incoming soon. Only one building now stands between them and that. Toby. The Arty Rift, very irritating, even with the BKB up for you. Boker turns into a tree to give himself some safety. While Ori straight in towards the DP. Sableite down and out. No buyback for him or the Tiny. And the hook on Fishman. For fine. Yet another kill for Ori's punch. Radiant Flesh heap stacks galore. That's Mega Creep. And they catch the Pock as well. Eon Disc is popped out there. Storm Stormer. Are you drawn to this orb? Do you jump away? Trying to dodge out a danger. But it is a really difficult prospect with Aster surrounding you. Every step you make is scouted. And GG is cool. Entity. They try to go for something different. Oh yeah, I hear, I hear it. I'm moving, but I'm here in the black hole. It obviously has that option too. Currently though, Entity. CS rising up pretty hot. Top four last hitters all on that dire side. <laughs> so we do see the Lycan and Enigma have a few struggles. Lady gets the Venno is annoying. Of course, we've seen that top lane, how well Fisherman's been playing. Manipulating that creep wave. Sable on it. Focusing down these Eidolons as quickly as you can. Oh, yeah, that feels good. <laughs> Using Void to kill one Eidolon. Yeah. Binding, binding, also binding. giving Magic Stick to Enigma. I don't think it's worth it. Oh, yeah, he's got a Magic Stick, doesn't he? Get those stacks going. All the spam coming out of him and Warlock. Counter Army and Toby. Trying to battle through the cold embrace. Going to wipe Alti as well. Trying to get him on top of XXS. Black hole not going to come. He, oh, he used it. It went on cool. Shortest down. black hole in history. I didn't even I, see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like 0.1 second. Dyer's middle tower. Oh, that's fallen. tragic for him. Radiance bottom tower. Uh, 
Power Treads, Whoa, Blink, and Deso, which is gonna open up the Roche. You see Lycan going for that helm. Stormstormer. And they go and play in towards the Enigma. Kataomi gets the combo onto XXS. But he's gonna get the Black Hole off this time. Kill the Venomancer off. Stormstormer looking for the trade. Should find the Enigma with ease. Well, back towards the tier one. Now, top lane, they did drop the rock. Fishman trying to aim towards Monet. But caught out now with a stun and a carapace. Can't give chase though. Kato only makes sure that the supports are held back. Are uh, respecting Rock and level four fatal bonds. In this fight, not the only finding an opening. Yeah, and Boku there with a stun. And a Winter's Curse on the Veno, trying to hold them back. But in comes the Night Stalker with a Thunder God's Wrath over the top, clearing through the Wyvern. As Katsuomi slowed by the trap, Wolves are arriving, but again, just delay tactics. Hold them out with the Avalanche as Toby throws out his poison over, but already huge damage out of this Deso TA. Looking for Fishman now, the TA trap slow down. They've got the chase straight towards the Warlock. And now it's time for Osha. Saberlight thought that this fight's gonna continue, so he canceled his TP mid-fight. Unfortunately, for Aster. Oh, look at this damage, overtime damage from Fatal Bonds, and there was still Veno ulti running. Yes, it's no joke. You can't get caught up in these team fights if they extend too long. But Aster, very, very thankful they were able to break through the first five, six seconds of the fight, get the kills they needed. No entity bust down all those spells. Still a good victory for them. Stalker, he, he wants, wants to, to, to kill the dragon. Easy 250. Oh, Back yeah. to full HP and half mana. <laughs> then this fight is a. He just is more defeated by 1400. Oh, looks like. Radiance I'm saying, who, yeah, who wants to buy a pipe in this day and age? Enigma will still be going for it, feeling the threat of the spells of Entity. You are Fishman, feeling the threat of the TA Deso Blink. XXS can't quite catch up. And now Entity with an avalanche and a toss. Having a go at Boko, but the rock is dropped. Crippling Sphere starts down the like in the Winter's Curse, that reset tool. It's a good thing goes wrath and a lot of damage onto Asta, but Ori able to turn a burn in onto Saberlight. He eats up a creep, but he's still being destroyed by the TA. Aegis in hand as well, so Ori has the safety he needs to continue battling. Tiny in trouble. Moved himself too aggressively into the ranks of Asta. Yeah, they look. He wants to go for. Excellent for Ori Bomb. Boko and Ori. He jumped on by Saberlight, aiming straight onto the next assassin, but Ori has already cleared out the tiny. Now the Winter's Curse there to lock Saberlight in place. And they've got a BKB TA running away. Entity, maybe the opportunity now to chase back in towards them, but XXS with the black hole. He only gets one of them. Catches the Zeus. Now the Night Stalker in. The Golem comes a little late, but the Enigma is still going to drop. Toby gets out of the poison over, but Monet speeding across. And TA with the refraction TP home should be fine. Nothing to finish her off while Saberlight. It does that, turn down. That rock came in a little late. Also, I think Enigma could have lived because uh, he didn't summon that uh, having a dispel mechanic against Venomancer. Oh, Baboka tries. Stun, but still gets the carapace off. He whiffs it. And now the Avalanche Toss comes in. E Blade from Stormstormer trying to blow up Baboka. Kills the next assassin, but they did force out the poison over at the very least. Aster in full retreat mode now, just looking to just sit back and relax. Tier one mid and top lane both still standing very strong fast, so they can bolster their efforts around those objectives. Entity would want to have a drawn out fight where they Dyer's potentially buy back with one attack. or two heroes, a poison Nova starts kicking in, maybe they get another round of Fatal Bonds potentially, Night Stalker resets, uh, Tiny gets a couple of combos. But they, they don't want to like heavily commit, if they can get a pick off, sure. Oh, rock man. drops. Yeah, the Wyvern trying to heal himself back up. Fishman dropped the rock onto XXS. Good body blocks. And now into Wyvern buying back. Roshan has just respawned, so perfect timing for a fight around it. Aster, the ones that might just come out on top though. Fishman's Golem being chased by the Hounds. That won't lose its life. So one buyback out of Wyvern. Ten seconds for the next Assassin to respawn. And Roshan up inside his pit, scouted by the TA Trap, I believe. Also, Wolves are scouting things out uh, following Night Stalker. No Golem, that means that Enigma 
could potentially land a really good black hole. There is a plague ward, but like both teams have really good vision. We're talking about wolves, traps, eidolons, uh, up on entity side, night stalker, venomancer, good initiation. Oh, say goodbye. Fishman blown up by the melt strike. Or EXXS springing forwards towards Toby now. Avalanche though in there with a crippling fear. And Enigma caught up inside the silence. They need the heels and the winner's curse. Turn it around and set it up for a black hole to come in from XXS, but he's holding on to it. Biding his time and waiting until he's gonna die for the call to brace. Keeps him alive. Or he now tracks him back. Done in for more as XXS didn't even need to black hole. Another heal in five seconds. Can he survive? Couple of bad mistakes. Uh, he might. Oh! <laughs> Dead to the damage over time. But Entity spent all but their poison Nova. Roshan is alive and asked to have Radiance four men up to go inside. They also bought back on Fishman, which means that his uh, item build uh, not going to be progressing as they want to. Inside the Roche pit they go. Uh, Kataomi maybe the ward is uh, scouting them out. Nice carapace. Lands up on the stun. I think comes my name. Has the null fire to get through the ghost scepter and down he goes. The entity already retreating. Everyone except Saberlight. Oh, Saberlight, buddy. Silenced all oh, this stun, but your scepter comes. Now, another trap. Saberlight, he doesn't want to press BKB. He knows he's been caught. Dead for 50 seconds. No buyback into this mid to late game. Another smoke out from Entity though. Baboka scouts it, spots it, splits away and runs out. Now the turn onto Katomi. Ori trying to blow up the tiny, but caught inside the Nimbus. Well, Lift to Ivan's the one to get picked up, and a black hole solo cancelled by the Golem. Fishman drops it in onto the Enigma as TA struggled to find that finishing blow on the tiny. Finally gets the job done. Monet in the back lines finds Stormstormer while Saberlight. Oh, he's being stunned up. The Malap is incredibly annoying, slowing him in as he's tracked back by the next assassin blinking forward towards him. Three heroes down. Entity lose out. Yeah. There's no Golem, no Thunder God's Wrath, nothing really here for Entity to play with. As Monet clears out the top melee racks, forces a buyback from the Warlock as well. And four Radiant minutes on this Aegis gives a lot attack. of freedom for Asta to play aggressively. Ori, the ability to jump around with a psionic projection. I was about Radiant to say it, he had the uh, Desso in his inventory and Daedalus in the backpack. Like Valley from Daedalus. Uh, too good. We got Agonin Scepter, here he comes. Delete Stormstormer in two hits. Where did he go? It disappeared. Sableye's on XXS. The BKB Enigma pops the cheese and the Golden Breaks heals him up too. Nice Stalker just can't catch a break. Fishman being chased by the TA and Katomi. Found by Baboka and Monet. Ori jumping in onto Toby now. The disarm from the Halberd is good in from Sableye and Toby. But I just don't know about this. With the Winter's Curse there, Entity running out of options. Nothing left in the tank. And Fishman trying to juke around on the black hole. Another celebratory one there. As XXS will take down Sableye in the end. We saw that black 